Shalom, shalom, and welcome back to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. Welcome back, welcome back, family. I miss you guys, I miss you guys, I miss you guys. And I have a great prophetic word for you today, and it's going to be coming out of Isaiah chapter 49, verses 8, and it reads, This is what the Lord says, In the time of my favor, I will answer you, and in the day of salvation, I will help you. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people to restore the land and to reassign its desolate inheritance. The favor in your life is about to speak for itself. They may have doubted you, but they can't deny you when they see the blessings of God ship you up to the next level. Battles are ending in this season. The battles are over in Jesus name. And now comes your peace, your joy, and your elevation to the next level. The Lord promises to refine us and purify us by allowing us to go through the furnace of affliction. The process prepare us to inherit it, the blessings God has in store for us. The furnace of afflictions can be painful, but the war will be very pleasant. The Lord promises to bring rejoice in our lives. He will comfort us and heal our broken hearts and fill us with joy and gladness. The Lord promises to rebuild our lives. Whatever there is de decay, and desolation, he will help us to rebuild everything and restore it. Even in areas where there has been desolation for generations, he will help us to raise it up once again. The Lord promises to repulse every attack of the enemy in our lives. The Spirit of God will lift a standard against every attack of the enemy, and none of the weapons formed against us will prosper. The Lord promises to restore our reputation. Wherever we have been mocked and despised, he will cause us to be honored. He will prosper us and increase us. This will happen when we follow his ways, his thoughts, which are higher than our ways and our thoughts. The Lord promises to remove the hindrance that causes our life to be desolate and decayed. All the, neg all the negative factors that were causing wastage and destruction in our lives will be removed. And once again, God will give us the freedom to grow and prosper. The Lord promises to help us recover everything that belongs to us. He will content with those who content with us and who he was and he will restore all that was taken captive from us. Even mighty and terrible foes will have to release the captives when the almighty God contends with them. Family. The father is saying in this hour, his favor is upon your life. My favor is upon your life, beloved, says the Lord. The father is saying my right hand is upon my children's life. My right hand is upon my apple of my eyes life. My right hand is upon my beloved's life. Family, the father is saying no witchcraft, no warlock, no curses, no, no jinx can stop this favor that's upon his children's life. God says get ready for supernatural favor. God is saying in this hour get ready because the favor in his right hand is upon his children's life. Family, the father is saying this in this hour. His favor is upon your life and no one can stop this favor. This is your inheritance. This is your birthright. Yes, you beloved. This is your birthright. God says get ready. Get ready. This is the season of his favor. This is your harvest, beloved. This belongs to you, beloved. This is yours, beloved. The father says what you're stepping into. No one can stop it. No devil in hell. No demon can stop it. No witch can stop it. The father says this is your inheritance. This is your birthright, beloved. Family, receive this word. Receive this word. The father is doing it in this hour for his children. The favor of God is upon your life. The favor. Favors in all areas of your life. In all areas of your life. No matter what it is. The favor of God is upon your life. His right hand is upon your life. He is doing it in this hour for his children. And no one can stop it. No one can stop it, family. The father is saying, get ready. Get ready. I am about to blow your mind. Get ready. Get ready, beloved. Yes, you, beloved. Get ready. I'm about to blow your mind, says the father. Family, receive this word. 
Receive this prophetic word. Receive this word from the Lord, from the throne, from the third heaven. The Father is doing it in this hour for his children, for his beloveds, for the apple of his eyes. Thank you for watching. Kisses. God bless you. God loves you. I love you. Shalom.